We observed through the tactivity the different states of water and their changes through these states. We recorded the temperature at every 5 minute interval to compare the temperature at which plain water and salt water boil, freeze and melt. We observed that salt water boils at a higher temperature than plain water and freezes at a lower temperature than plain water. Depression of freezing point and elevation of boiling point are colligative properties of solutions. That is, they depend on the number of molecules of solute present in a solution and not on the chemical species of solute present. We also notice that dissolving salt in water reduce the temperature of the water. This is due to the fact that an endothermic reaction, a reaction that absorbs heat, takes place when a salt solution is made. A chemical change is different from a physical change in that a new chemical substance is formed by the combination or breakup of two chemical substances in the case of a chemical change. But in a physical change, the substance does not change its chemical composition. A physical change only involves a change in the substance's physical properties. Some ways to identify a chemical change are release or absorption of heat or other energy, though this is not always definitive as we've talked about in dissolving salts. A production of a gas, sound, color or smell usually involves a chemical change. A few examples of a chemical change are rusting of iron, baking a cake, cooking an egg, souring of milk, digestion of food, burning wood, and so on. Some examples of a physical change include conversion of dry ice into carbon dioxide gas, melting of ice, shredding paper, crumpling aluminium foil, evaporation of alcohol, etc. One variation one can try with this activity is to take a gradient of salt concentrations and perform the experiment taking these different samples together to compare how the melting point, boiling point and freezing points will change with decrease or increase of salt concentration. Predicting from the principles of depression of freezing point and elevation of boiling point, we may find that on increasing salt concentration, the boiling point becomes higher and higher and the freezing point will become lower. Also, if we were to perform this experiment at a high altitude of around 2000 or 3000 meters, we might observe that the water takes considerably less time to boil. The reason is that the boiling point is quickly achieved even on providing equal amount of heat as at sea level because the atmospheric pressure is lower at high altitudes. After all, boiling is nothing but when the vapor pressure of a liquid, which is a property of the liquid, reaches the ambient atmospheric pressure. When we think about the polar ice caps and the temperature at the north and south poles, we can understand that when polar ice caps, which are made up of accumulated precipitation in the form of snow and ice, when they melt, they alter ocean currents and mess up the hydrological balance because seawater is saline and the ice caps are made up of fresh water. This causes sea level to rise and the oceans to become less saline. Some scientific terms. Temperature may be defined as how hot or cold an object is. It is a statistically average measure of the kinetic energy of the particles in a piece of matter. This can be expressed in units or degrees on a standard scale. An endothermic reaction is a reaction in which the system absorbs energy from its surroundings. An exothermic reaction is a process that releases energy into its surroundings. A physical change, a change in the physical states of matter is a physical change. The following are physical changes, for example, solid to liquid is melting, liquid to gas is vaporization, liquid to solid is freezing, gas to liquid, condensation, and solid to gas, which is sublimation. A chemical change is a change that happens when a chemical reaction takes place and atomic bonds are broken or created. Condensation is the process by which a gas or vapor reduces to a liquid or solid form. Water vapor is a substance in gaseous form below its crucial boiling temperature of water. Vapor pressure or saturated vapor pressure is the pressure of vapors when it is in equilibrium with its condensed phases, which is solid or liquid. And vaporization is when liquid is converted to its vapor in a state transition. Boiling and evaporation are the two forms of vaporization. 
the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid is equal to its ambient atmospheric pressure is called the boiling point. Boiling is a bulk phenomenon and not restricted to the surface of a liquid like vaporization. Evaporation is a type of vaporization that occurs at a temperature below the liquid's boiling point. It is a spontaneous surface phenomenon and occurs below the boiling point of the liquid. The freezing point is the same as the melting point and is the temperature at which a liquid turns into a solid and the solid and liquid phases are in equilibrium. A solution's colligative properties are those that depend on the number of molecules of solute present in the solution rather than the chemical species of the solute present. To understand this activity, students may familiarize themselves with the following concepts like temperature, states of matter, freezing point, boiling point and melting point, and depression of freezing point and elevation of boiling point. We are observing four physical changes in water as below. Conversion of water into steam and its reverse conversion of steam into water, as well as conversion of water into ice and its reverse conversion of ice into water. Matter exists in different states at different temperatures and pressures. Molecules in a solid are packed close together and move very little, only about their fixed position. Molecules in a liquid can move about more than in a solid. The intermolecular spaces here are more, and molecules are less tightly packed. The molecules in a gas are far apart from each other, and there are almost no forces of intermolecular attraction acting between them. When matter changes state, molecular rearrangement happens, and the kinetic energy of the molecules increases progressively as the states change from solid to liquid to gas. In some cases, the states of matter may change directly from solid to gaseous, which is sublimation, as in the case of camphor or dry ice, that is solid carbon dioxide, and sometimes even snow, without the intermediate kinetic energy state of turning into a liquid. In all these states of matter, however, the molecular structure of the particular molecule does not change. That is, these changes are all physical changes. We quantitatively measure three of, out of these four physical changes using a thermometer to track the temperature at which the state change occurs. The conversion of water into steam we observe qualitatively. We also observe the phenomena of elevation of boiling point and depression of freezing point by comparing two quantities of water, one plain water and the other water with salt. We are able to see that the plain water freezes before the salt water and the salt water boils after the plain water. We can thus understand that on addition of a non-volatile solute, the usable or stable temperature range of liquid water increases as its freezing and boiling points are pushed back. The boiling point of a liquid is the temperature at which its vapor pressure reaches one atmosphere. If we add a solute, it becomes a solution, and the boiling point of a solution is always higher than that of the solvent. The reason behind this is that the presence of non-volatile solute impedes the movement of volatile solvent particles, reducing the vapor pressure of the solution compared to the solvent. So the solution now has to be heated to a higher temperature to reach the equilibrium of one atmosphere with the surrounding. In case of depression of freezing point, we can understand it as follows. We should imagine the solid and liquid to be in equilibrium in the sample of water at freezing temperature. Water molecules continuously leave the liquid surface and enter the solid, and water from the solid surface continuously enter the liquid phase through collisions. When we add to this scenario non-volatile solute particles, the number of random collisions between the water molecules reduces because some of these collisions are happening with the solute instead, hence requiring the temperature to be lower in order to maintain the frozen state. In absence of this lower temperature, the ice will melt. Some applications. Ethylene glycol or antifreeze is used as an additive in the radiator water as a coolant. It prevents the engine from cracking due to frozen ice. It also allows the engine temperature to go over 100 degrees Celsius without any danger. Arctic and Antarctic oceans and the body fluids of the fish that live in these oceans remain unfrozen at temperatures below zero degrees due to the phenomenon of depression of freezing point. Salt is sometimes spread on snowy streets to make the snow and ice melt and prevent people from slipping. 
During sugar refining, when cane juice is boiled, the saturation of sugar determines the temperature at which it boils, giving an indication of sugar concentration, which influences crystallization. In the spring peeper frog, large amounts of glucose are released by dissociation of glycogen in response to freezing temperatures as a temporary reaction to cold weather. We can observe condensation in nature by keeping a cold glass of liquid at room temperature on a hot day. The droplets of water that appear on the outer surface of the glass are from the condensed water vapor in the atmosphere surrounding the glass. The sudden decrease in temperature causes the molecules to slow down, decreasing their kinetic energy and turning them into liquid state. We can observe sublimation when mothballs sublime or when dry ice turns into gaseous carbon dioxide. Have you ever looked at snow-capped peaks on a bright sunny day? By recording the temperature and the state of water every five minutes, we can record and graph the point where water freezes, melts or boils. Comparison with salt water demonstrates the phenomena of freezing point depression and boiling point elevation. The molecules rearrange as they move through the states, having the most tightly packed structure when in solid state and minimum kinetic energy, and a relaxed structure in liquid state with a medium amount of kinetic energy and a very loosely packed molecules with the maximum kinetic energy when in a gaseous state. We hope you have enjoyed discovering the physical properties of water through a series of very simple yet powerful experiments using what our Earth is most famous for, liquid water.